Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some mad detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and dazzle you with breathtaking cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment for the next 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasis Bay. <laughs> it's great to have you here. And we're looking in on the subject of today's build, this great big patch of land out here, this untapped resource that sits quite a ways west of downtown, as you can see over there downtown in the distance. And this is going to be home to our brand new sports tech Technology Institute. Yeah, it's going to be a huge build, a massive build today. And we're going to be introducing a new faction to you. The new faction that we're introducing today is the Enterprise Union. Now, you may remember back when we built our university episode, we introduced to you the Erudition Coalition. Now, another faction is arising, and that's the Enterprise Union. And the Enterprise Union is formed uh, of a bunch of uh, entities that want to really take advantage of these newfound resources here in the Grand Vanillica, the new continent that was discovered of Grand Vanillica, and they want to share those resources to the benefit of all of humanity with, of course, a healthy little profit for all the participating corporations. <laughs> and one of the corporations that they've tapped is Mongoose Athletic Apparel, and it's a company that's based out of Kolkata, India. And they are looking to partner with the Enterprise Union and build a massive sports technology institute. We're going to call it the Mongoose Sports Technology Institute. And it's going to feature basketball courts, a tennis center, a soccer complex, and even a football stadium. And, you know, this is going to be, uh, it's going to be the place to train the the next generation of world-class athletes. And rumor has it is if it's successful, the International Olympic Committee is even keeping their eye on Pangasis Bay, maybe to host a future Summer Olympics. We'll see about that. All right. Well, I just threw a lot at you guys. And with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. All right. So let's jump in and start. Oh, wait. Actually, before we start, Let's run over to downtown. One of our viewers, Soldier25, wrote in and said, this looks like a harpoon and I see it. Now, if you see this is the shaft coming up here with the pointed tip over here, the little barbed hook coming in here. And he said, you know, Sculptor, we should rename this harpoon waterfront. And I agree with him. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're gonna grab this zone tool. We're gonna move this zone back a little bit, the district tool. We're gonna create a new zone. We're gonna just run out here and back and connect it to there and there. And now we'll just call it harpoon waterfront. <laughs> I like it. Thanks for the idea, soldier. All right, moving on. Back to where we started, which is over in this space here. Now, I need to uh, get my uh, my level terrain tool out here because I need to create a bigger surface for all of this uh, all of this activity to, to uh, rest on. And I want to pick an elevation that's about, well, let's call it four or five contour lines above the surface of the water. I'll select that height and I'm going to start pushing out here. I want to create a nice big pad for my asset, my selected asset to, to live on. And I'm just going to move right out around in here. I want to try and preserve this little notch here just for spacing. And then I want this to come out maybe a little bit further because I'm going to ultimately have to set up a key wall on this thing. And I want to make sure I have plenty of space to do that on. All right, so then I can come in and carve into here a little bit. Now, the next thing I would need to do is I need to grab a two-lane road, just a regular two-lane road, and I want to set it up so it's kind of in the center of this area here. Uh, maybe bring it down to about here. And let's go 32 meters across. And then from the center of that, I just want to run a just a straight line out there just as a placeholder. And then from here, uh, what I want to do is we're going to trim off the ends of that. Boom, boom. And I want to select a pedestrian street, grab a continuous curve. And I'm just going to start running this out here. And I need to swing an arc that's 452 meters all the way around. There and there. Okay, so now that gives us a guideline for where our key wall is going to be. It's going to reside in this little space out here, all the way around here. But to do that, I need to, first of all, come out here and probably make it a little bit bigger. Just a little bit more room out here. Uh, and then I'm just going to decrease my brush size down to, let's say, 40. Uh, maybe I'll make it 60. And then select an elevation that's just a couple meters below sea level. And just go all the way around here, work my way around this circle. Try not to dig out too much of it, though. I just want to make sure that the uh, the brush stays just on the edge of the uh, of the road all the way around. So sit tight while I do that. 
Now, if we've done this correctly, we should have a nice even circle all the way around. And what that allows us to do is then come in here and delete this road and then swing this arc all the way around again. Now I can see I'm already gonna have some issues right up in here. Let's just kind of touch this terrain up a little bit again. Yeah, I think, I think we'll be okay. At the very least, we'll start the process of um, making sure that we've got a good start on our key wall. And again, if I go to 452, I can see already where there's gonna be some hot spots, so that's okay. We'll swing this back around. And you can see there's a couple spots here, like here, where it's still down quite a bit. I could probably stand to come back out here and elevate that a little bit, and then down in this corner as well. All right, so sit tight. Let me adjust some terrain here, and we'll just uh, get this key wall put in place. The wall's in place, but now we can still come back in and fine tune elevations as we need to. And it's really easy to do once you get a wall that's entirely in place, because then all you have to do is figure out, see where the white line is? All you need to do is figure out where you want that white line to be. And I want that white line to be about halfway between the center line and the edge of the key wall. So if I do that all the way around, once we do this, we'll get a good key wall in place all the way around. Now we've got a nice level key wall all the way around our circle. Oh, I like the way that that looks. So from this point, we can come out and fill some of these back in. I want to come out and grab this elevation and bring that into, oh, yeah, bring that into here. And then I want to take a road just out of here. 64 on this side. I just want to drive that straight down in here and again. And then that'll allow me to come in here and cut these two pieces out. Take a single road, just run that out 24 meters, 24 meters, and then I can put my asset in here. And my asset that I'm going to use is this central intelligence building. It's the CIB, I think. And the CIB fits right in there perfectly. If you see that, I better pause the game here. Otherwise, we'll start getting warnings and such. But it fits perfectly in that little circle out there. And it gives the appearance of being like, I don't know, maybe it's a tennis center or, or a basketball court or arena or whatever. So, yeah, I like the look of that. And then what we can do is we can come back in here and trim these off because we don't need those any longer. And then I've got just kind of a nice little design here. I'll peel back all of these exterior walls and then ultimately I can even come in here and, and put a nice you know, pedestrian walkway that comes along here and so forth as well. So we're in a good spot so far. All right, so the next thing I need to do is I need to come back in here and cut this little road out. And then I want to start doing some terraforming. Uh, I want to pick an elevation that's that's up a little bit. Uh, maybe something, see this ravine that runs back through here? Maybe something that's kind of in this elevation and then just push that straight across here like that. And then we're going to push that up. We're going to push that all the way up into here because uh, the next asset that I have to drop in here is just massive. There we go. Now we can take a road and just run straight out of the center of this guy again right here. And I'm bringing it up to a point where it's going to clear that little notch. Let's see. Yeah, it does. It clears the notch there. We'll just drive that out to there. From there, I need to, I think we're still going to need to capture some more of this space. All right, so the asset we want to use is the uh, Technical University. And we're just going to put that right in this space. And look at how huge this thing is. It's just gigantic. But I think it's going to make a really cool piece. As you get out here over the water, get down way over here. It, you can see it just sits up on that you know, hill a little bit better. And then you're going to have another elevation up behind it. So when you're down here at the water's edge, it's going to look pretty cool. So the next thing I need to do is I need to come over here and put in a bunch of basketball courts. And I want to do so in a way that's a little unusual. The first thing we need to do is just make sure that everything's flattened out good because yeah, we don't want a bunch of basketballs rolling down into the sea. And then I want to come in with a pedestrian road. Have it come into about here somewhere. Maybe a line that runs there. Let's change that to a pedestrian road. Now what I can do is put on my continuous curve and I'll just come out close to the end and I'll go out and spin this into an 88 meter circle like that. Just do the same thing over and again. So sit tight. Let me do those for you.
Now we got a bunch of circles in place. And with those circles in place, then I can come back in, cut out these interior parts here. And we got a place to put basketball courts. Ooh, let's connect this guy up here too. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Now let's put in our basketball courts. We'll go down here to parks and select basketball courts, turn off all of our snapping. And let's just see if we can line these up so they're you know, perpendicular to this road here. Yeah. And then let's drop one into in the center of every single one of these circles, just one after another. And then oh, I bet I can take this peril, this uh, pedestrian road and run this right into here, can't I? You know, now that I'm looking at it too, I bet we could even get one more oh, right up here. Let's just, let's see if we can. Kind of more of an interesting configuration for basketball courts. You're going to have a lot of activity in this space, and then I can come into each every single one of these and just do a lot of little detailing work around inside of here. Now we've got a bunch of basketball courts in place. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is I need to connect this into our road network, and that's going to be uh, that's a long drive. There you go. Now, if I hit play, we'll have live buildings in three, two, one, bingo. We're live. Awesome. All right, so let's turn our attention down here to the soccer fields. We need to put soccer fields in, and soccer fields, much like basketball courts, like a nice level area. You don't want the soccer ball rolling down into the uh, into the uh, bay down here. So we're just gonna create a nice big flat space up here, and, and then that, ooh, that reminds me, we've got this farmland up here. So uh, I just want to create this nice big flat area in here. And then uh, I've got this farmland over here. You can see this big, huge farmland over here that will probably get you know used in a future episode. So I got to steer clear of that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and just, um, just kind of peel this back and, and start this curve. I want to I want to curve this road up kind of up into this direction here. So let's just do that. I think that's probably good. And then it'll slope up to about here. So we'll just kind of run right up along here like so. That's probably good for now. All right, let's put in a two, just a regular two lane road here. Just want to run it off the side of this building here. And then from there, I need to drop in a soccer field, large sports park, soccer field. Yeah, like that. Okay, cool. Now the bleachers are facing the wrong way. So let's, let's change that. Let's come out here with a pedestrian road. Uh, 112 meters, remember that. And we'll come down 136 meters, remember that. Okay, 112 and 136. All right, so if I scooch back into here and connect, we've got our first soccer field and we can turn that around. Yeah, now the bleachers are gonna face out, <laughs> out to the bay. That's a nice view. All right, uh, let's put in a couple more of these now. So if I come out from this spot here and go one, two, it was 112, right? Yeah, there we go. 132, right? 136. And then 112 and down. Okay, and drop in our next one. Can I do one more? Can I squeeze one more in there? I don't know if I can. 112, oh, it just fits. Look at that. 136. And then let's see here. Because math, I think if I come up 64 meters, then I can cut across here, 112, and back down in. And let's fit another one in there. Yeah, that gives us a lot of them. Okay, cool. Um, I like the way that that looks. So let's, um, hmm. let's see. We're going to need to get some parking in here because uh, this soccer fields, you know, they usually draw a crowd and yeah, that fits. Okay. Try and center that up there and there. And then uh, those are on pedestrian roads. So we have to spin those around. So I want to come out. Yeah. Okay, that should be fine. Um, oh, we gotta change this to a regular road though. And we're gonna spin that around, pop that into there. Yeah, look at that, that's cool. Let's bring in a pedestrian road here. Now I have to do the same thing over here. And now what we can do is, um, hmm, 
there's probably some cool things we can put into this space. I, I have to put that big arterial up this hill, and then I need to drop in some student housing or athlete training housing right up in here, I think. Yeah, so let's uh, let's set about doing that. First things first. Yeah, okay. And then uh, I want to create a little block up here. Let's just say... Hmm. 72 meters come back out 112 back down 72 sure we can use that uh can i take this all the way across here and then this one this should just be able to run right up into here shouldn't it now in this little block right here i think what i'd like to do is put in maybe some low income housing low rent housing uh, maybe a four by four right in the middle of it yeah something like that and then I'll get some, um, what do you call it? Medium density, medium density housing right in here. There we go. And then uh, then come out on the other side here. I'll just do uh, mixed use housing in here. And that could be our little athletes training, you know, residences while they're, while they're here training at the uh, Sports Technology Institute. Ooh, rainy day. Uh, let's just see here now. There was another piece I wanted to drop in since we have all these parks nearby. Let's see if we can squeeze in the uh, park maintenance depot. Yeah, that just fits in there. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah. So that's kind of like the maintenance facility for all of these, <laughs> these fabulous sports parks that we've got. And then speaking of parks, can I squeeze a park into this space here? Let's just take a look and see if there's a uh, like a city park of some sort. Maybe a large city park? Ooh, yeah, that just fits right in there perfectly. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Now we've got uh, we've got our soccer fields in place. Ooh, let's let's run this road up here. There we go. Now we're all connected in. And uh, oh, yeah, this that's really starting to take shape. We'll smooth that out a little later on. So with all those fields in play now, let's turn our attention up to the top of this ridge up here. And what I want to do is I want to put in a big football stadium up here. <laughs> I think that might be kind of cool. And I know we don't have a football stadium in City Skylines too, but I think we can fake it. <laughs> we can try and create one. Um, I actually was kind of noodling around with a technique a little bit ago just to see, you know, if this is something that could be a possibility so let's just give it a try um i'm gonna start by putting in a road uh i want to have the football end zones kind of oriented so that they're looking out towards you know the downtown area kind of down along maybe down the, up this road here so if i just come right along there like that then i can take uh this road and bring it down here and then let's grab uh let's see here large sports park american football field drop that in there and let's wrap that up with uh, road and then from the middle of that, I want to I just want to run a road down here. I guess it doesn't really matter what kind. We'll cut it off just so that I have a, a you know, like a guideline at some point in the future. We'll cut that off and that and that and that. And then I want to get rid of that. And now I want to come in here and I want to set an elevation that's a little bit lower. We're going to use a shift terrain tool. We're going to drop that down, level terrain, and just kind of clear this all out. Yeah, that's good. And now I can come back in and cut this road out and increase the size of that little dugout enough so I can come in with a pedestrian road and uh, just kind of line up that and that and then put my field back into this little bowl down here. Now in doing so, I've got, uh, I've got the football field kind of submerged down a little bit and uh, I can now slope terrain out to um, that road that we've set way back over here. That works just fine. And then I'll um, I'll take this road and I'll come right out of the center here. We can trim these guys off here. And now what we can do is we can trim these guys off too. And I wanna come in with a level terrain tool. Let's uh, pick an elevation again. That's maybe something more like 50. And I wanna just step up a few contour lines. One, two, three, four, maybe five contour lines up from the level of the stadium and just push this down all the way around. So now with that in place, I can come in with a uh, pedestrian street and I want to bump this elevation up to five meters. And then I'm just going to play off the edge of that road there and then come straight out till it clicks to that end of that. Just bring that all the way across. Ooh, it's going to overlap the building. Can't have that, can we? And we'll just come back on this side here and just run it down the same side over here till it clicks into place. And then I'm going to put on a continuous curve. I'm going to go right from here. I'm going to come out 
88 meters right to the center, and then I'm going to bring that right into the middle of that. Ooh, yeah. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. And then 88 meters there and into there, and I hopefully I have a little bridge in there. And I do. Well, this is kind of funky, isn't it? I wonder why that is. Let's, uh, let's clear that out. Yeah, I like that better anyhow. So let's uh, let's come in on this side and do the same thing. All right, so now we're in a good spot there. So now let's focus on the next level, if you will. And I'm going to pick an elevation that's, uh, again, five contour lines up and start pushing that one around. All right, so now first thing I want to do is grab an alley road and make sure my elevation is set at zero. I just want to take this and bring it out here because what that'll do is it'll give us some building squares so that we can kind of lock onto those. And then I'm going to take my pedestrian street. I'm going to come up uh, 6.25 meters this time. And then let's come from right there. So what is that? Two squares in from that kind of hits that angle. And I want to come to about there. That's there it is. There it is. Okay. Now we can turn. Uh, oh, here, let's go like this. We're going to come back and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we've got the similar look. And now let's just put on our continuous curve. We're going to come out from here. And then let's come back around and do the same thing on the other side. Let's get this guy out of the way. There you go. Now you got your stadium bowl. That's got the little lower recessed uh, end zones there. So you can kind of orient out and eh, maybe you can, maybe you can't see out, but you can kind of see downtown. All right. Nice. I'm glad that turned out. Now we can come in and decorate all of that around there. Uh, we should probably do some tennis courts and stuff down here along the water. Yeah, that'd be our next project, I think. I want to start by coming down here and filling in this bay. And not to worry, we'll, we'll dredge it back out here. But this just makes it a lot easier for us to kind of build our surface down in here. And so now we can come back down in here and uh, decrease our brush size down to about 40. I want to pick the elevation that's down here and I just want to carve down in there as well because what we're going to do is we're going to set a nice key wall down along in this space here, kind of mirroring what the old bay used to look like just a little bit. Yeah, that should do. That should do for now. And then I'm going to grab a pedestrian road. I'm going to set that down and bring the elevation up to about 2.5 meters. I want to draw a line. I just want to draw a straight line for right now. Maybe it's this right here. Try and get that as flat as possible. Yeah, that should that should serve us well for right now. And then let's get a uh, continuous curve and we're going to just turn on the snap to 90 degree and snap to existing geometry and then roll that right out here hopefully get this into a position where it's pretty flat as well and then let's uh let's kind of soften that curve up a little bit just to just to make sure that it's it's fairly balanced yeah that'll work and then we'll come out and do the same here how does that look yeah, it looks pretty good actually i like the uh kind of the gracefulness of that curve and then this will just kind of carve back out here and make that our bay so the next thing i want to do is i want to come in here and level all this off i want to pick this elevation and just kind of give ourselves a nice big area to work with and then we'll slope this down something like that and then i want to take a two-lane road and just run that straight out of here uh, i want to run out i want to turn off this grid i just want to run out here until yeah, I hit there. That's fine. And then I want to take an alley road. Uh, I want to use the grid back on here, but I just want to come down. Don't want to connect it. I just want to bring that into there. And then from here, I want to grab a tennis court. Yeah, just plop that into there. And then count out. Let's see. Tennis courts are what? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And drive this one down. Turn the grid back off. There we go. And then there. And then one more. There. Now we've got our tennis courts in a nice little, yeah, a nice little lined up arrangement there. I think that looks pretty sharp. And then what I can do is I can put in some more of them kind of coming off at a different angle over into this space here. So let's come in here and uh, let's see, I want to grab a just a regular two lane road, come off of here and just go at an angle like so. I'm going to orient these tennis courts a little differently. I just want to come in here and put them, you know, kind of the normal way, if you will, just uh, one, two, 
three, and four. Just put them in like so. Uh, and then that leaves us room for down in here to build out kind of like a little, I don't know, tennis center, tennis clubhouse. Uh, and I can do that by, uh, let's see here. I'm gonna grab an alley road, run it in behind here. So let's just uh, turn on all the snaps here. Just run right along here like so. I'm gonna connect this one straight down into here. And then I can, um, hmm, I can probably just come in and I'll put like a little park in here. Like that. And then I can come in and zone some office low rise like so. One big building like that. Yeah. And so that'll frame up our little tennis center. And of course, we'll come and clear this out. And it, I think it'll, uh, you know, it'll really stand up nicely. You've got access down throughout the, the area. I'll reconnect these roads down here. And I think we're in good shape. All right. So that is kind of the big crux of our build. I mean, those are all the big elements in place. And it feels like this is a great time for us to jump in and do a beautification time lapse. Got a lot of work to do in this space. Obviously, I want to flesh out the rest of our little tennis area. Pull back the key wall here and add some add some nice beautification in there. <laughs> add some character in with our basketball courts. Uh, let's see. Come back in here and just you know, smooth some things out around the soccer field. Maybe add uh, a little bit of decor back in here. Uh, and then our football stadium. I want to continue, you know, building this out. I'll probably I just dropped in these parking garages off camera. I'll slide those out a little bit. Maybe make a walking path that goes all the way around here. And uh, we have to obviously connect back down into our roads down here. I'll probably add some practice fields in here too. You'd want to have something like that. Okay, why don't you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse. Let's reconnect here afterwards and we can recap our sculpture.
All right, welcome back from the time lapse, and I give you the Mongoose Sports Technology Institute. Yeah, Mongoose Athletic Apparel was our big benefactor today, courtesy, of course, of the uh, Enterprise Union, I'm sure, but they were the company behind building out this great sports technology institute, and I think it turned out fantastic. It's a huge space, just enormous campus, and there's a lot to dive into, guys, so let me just go ahead and take it away. We're going to start down in the, in the front here with our central intelligence building that we have repurposed as our tennis and basketball center. And you can see I've got these little logos that I built in here. One's a basketball and one's a tennis ball. And it sits right out here at the end of this key wall here, overlooking Pangasa Space. Spectacular views, but it's a perfect setting for having your tennis finals and your basketball finals in an indoor setting, just in case the weather turns a little sour. <laughs> all right, making our way down this little harbor here, we've got some decorations and you can see the tennis courts are all lined out across here, all the way down to our tennis center. And I like the way that this just kind of nestles down here just down below this little ridge line right above the waterfront here and you can see some shops dotted in there those will eventually extend on to the next neighborhood down the way but we're just getting a start on that okay now let's cut across the street to our basketball matrix and <laughs> this turned out just fantastic i've got all of these basketball courts eight in total all set up in this little matrix pattern here with these big big, big beautiful pedestrian walking streets plenty of parking and, and nice little plantings and you know is a just a spectacular setting as you're overlooking Pangasus Bay. A great place to come and get a workout and hone your game. Now you can see I put in a whole bunch of plantings down along here and uh, some beautiful palm trees to frame that up. And it looks like we've got some court attendants that might have moved in. <laughs> we'll have to create some new housing for them in the next episode. All right, now let's make our way over to our big technology institute, the big sports tech institute. And this is the home, the headquarters, if you will, for Mongoose Athletic Apparel. And they're going to really love this building now. Their whole operation is sitting right over here, overlooking Pangasus Bay, the basketball courts, the tennis courts, and the, the wonderful basketball tennis stadium over there. They've got spectacular views of downtown and they can see all of the ships coming and going. A high-tech institute, and I'm sure they're working on their next great designs for sneakers or maybe even some apparel. Let's make our way over to the soccer complex, and you can see we've got five soccer fields over here. A great venue for getting uh, you know, lots of practice in and really training to become those next generation of world-class athletes. Again, spectacular views of the bay, and we even dropped in some, some wonderful housing complexes that are sitting back here for when the athletes come into Pangasus Bay to hone their skills. Now, I took the opportunity to drop in this high school as well because with it, I was able to put in a track. We didn't have a track yet. This was a great opportunity to complement the build by adding in a track. It's kind of a multi-purpose stadium, if you will. You can see soccer lines, football lines, and of course, the track making its way around. Now, as we head up the hill, we're going to get to our broadcast facility. In order to be taken seriously about potentially hosting the summer games, you better have a broadcast facility on site. And so we tucked that in up on the top of the hill here just to get us ready in case we get tapped to host the big games. Now, I also put in some training facilities up here for football. You can see these three fields up here, along with these towers that are built in here and their own private parking as well. It makes for a great opportunity for them to you know, do some off-season workouts and training as they get ready for the next upcoming season. And then, of course, you've got our top five design element. Yeah, our big, beautiful football stadium. This was a lot of fun to make. You know, we, we used all of those pedestrian roads in a very creative way, creating a bowl, if you will, for that stadium to nestle down into, kind of like you might see in a big American football stadium. You know, with these, these walls rising up all the way around it, framing it in nicely. And, of course, you've got end zone views of downtown Pangasus Bay. We've got ample parking up here. As you can see, I dropped in some parking lots here. And then those big parking ramps up here. Oh, and I even worked in the uh, the Mongoose logo uh, down here along this roundabout here. So you can tell this is home of the, the home of the Mongoose Athletic Apparel. And just for good measure, we even dropped in this little tram stop. So now I've got tram service running all the way out from the West Edge, as you recall over here, all the way out. You know, there's a few builds coming up in this area and then out to this space out here. So We've got fully connected uh, service coming out to the Mongoose Sports Technology Institute. All right, that's going to wrap up today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was fantastic. It was a huge build, and you're going to want to sit tight all the way to the end and watch the cinematics. <laughs> There's a special treat there, too, for our new Patreon members. You're going to see your name showing up in lights. Yeah, that's great. Now, just as a reminder, we're a growing channel. So if you saw something that you like today, 
leave us a comment below. We love hearing from you. And with the addition of that Patreon page that I mentioned, you have the ability to become a member as well today. Check it out. There are four different levels of membership. We'll leave a link in the description. Also, while you're at it, be sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the happenings here in Pengasus Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. <laughs> all right. With that, I'm going to bid you guys a fond farewell. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs>